Hey everybody, I am in Narragansett, Rhode Island, and I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, this is what's kept me, a, it's, it was a Druid rock, or a Druid altar at one point, around the 19th century, it was actually moved to this spot, kind of a dead end street, it's a nice little bed and breakfast across the road. Uh, that, they moved here for some reason, I don't know. There's not much information about it. I'm just finding the best stuff with no information. Uh, except that there's some pillars here that were over all it says is over a century ago about a native woman it's a cemetery plot now um to the druid rock where apparently they had druid ceremonies and did druid things honoring what the druids did or where the druids would do or didn't do or didn't they build stonehenge Druids, Stonehenge, I don't know, anyway. And Nagasaterat, which I'm gonna butcher that name 10 million times, in Rhode Island, which, as you walk in, it's actually, someone does take pride in it, because it is mowed. There's a nice little, I guess it's a well, with the little version of their own Stonehenge, made right around, it looks pretty current as far as the pillars. Uh, and Nagasat, Rhode Island. Say that five times fast, or if you can say it at all. But anyway, just another stop my Visit 50 tour. Um, make sure you follow me to tell me the Twitter, the Facebook. It's actually a pretty cool little bed and breakfast across the street. Um, so if you're into bed and breakfasts, check it out as I'm walking back towards it. Hopefully my car is still there. But no, it's a, uh, as you can see, it's a nice little entrance. So, you know, bricks, mortars, all that good stuff. It's a rock in the, rock in the woods. So, but it was a druid rock. So it's a druid rock in the woods. That's it. <laughs> I'm off to my next stop. I'll see you later. Bye.